My hair is 31 layers of pain, and this ended up being a lot harder than I expected. It doesn't help that I wanted a very layered and textured look, so I had to re-import my hair into CS Paint and redraw a few sections so that nothing looked out of place when I turned my head. For the top of my head, I had to make a new layer completely. I took a screenshot on my model looking down, brought it into CS Paint, and painted a custom hair part on a new layer. After importing this hair part into my rig, I gave it its own parameter and keyframes, so it extended to full size when I looked down and shrunk away when I looked up. It was a nice way to hide the layer stacking and fill out the top of my head. I also had problems with my hair clipping to the sides of my face, but this was a quick problem to fix. Just set the skin, outline, and eyeballs as inverse clip masks, and the issue is completely gone. Finally, mesh your hair carefully. I plan to make her hair quite light and bouncy with physics, so I needed my meshes to flow in the same shape as her strands. I used the pencil mesh tool heavily, and it made all my meshes nice and clean. For my complex fringe, I made a custom hair auto mesh setting, and then subdivided it by four whenever I needed more polys. This made shifting strands with path deformers so much easier and cleaner. Here's my final X and Y turn, and I think it's going to look great once the physics are added and it bounces and sways. 